Agricultural issues don't garner a lot of headlines. We do, often don't read about in the morning paper on the, above the fold about some agricultural or farm bill. And yet, um, I hope this one does make it on the front page of tomorrow's paper. Because we talk a lot in Minnesota about um, we would never hear the phrase in Minnesota, Minnetonka nice, or, or Mankato nice, or Moorhead nice, or Minneapolis nice. We always hear about Minnesota nice. And, you know, I, I always think about what that phrase means. And, and, and to me, what it means um, is during winter, you help a perfect stranger get through a snowbank or up an icy incline in their car. Or in the summer, you share your umbrella with a perfect stranger. Or in the summer when you're having a campfire at your campsite and the people next to you have never, don't know how to start that fire or, or their wood's too wet, you, you invite them over, perfect strangers, to share your, the warmth of your, and light of your fire. And, but the, my favorite holiday to include, include strangers is Thanksgiving, the fall, when we share with our, peop, our friends and relatives the bounty of our farmers, the bounty of our farmers, Thanksgiving. And whenever we hear that perhaps a stranger, an, an acquaintance, a recent um, widow or widower will be spending Thanksgiving alone, you don't hesitate to pick up the phone and say, hey, you, you want to come over and share Thanksgiving with us. I'll, be, I, I'll support this bill because of that, because that's what Minnesota NICE is all about. I'll never probably meet the people that will help from this bill. I have three farms in my district, and I'll probably never, I've, I don't know them now, and I probably never will meet them, but I do know this. This is what is such a great thing about this body, is at least around food, we can all unite and do Minnesota nice. I hope Billy Joel writes a song about the Minnesota state of mind for those of you that get that reference. Thank you, Mr. President.